Hi everyone, it's Ms. Larson here. I'm here to show you how to write your body paragraphs for your guided argumentative essay. Right now you're looking at your guided argumentative essay flea map and we are on slide two. Today our video is going to focus on the body paragraph one and body paragraph two. Body paragraph three is a little different. It's our counterclaim and we, we are going to focus on that part in another video. Today, let's look at paragraph one and two. So to start your body paragraphs, we need to remember our reasons. And we are going to state our reason number one in body paragraph one and our reason number two in body paragraph number two. You can find your reasons that support your claim in your actual claim that we wrote. So my first reason is physical ways and my second reason is mental ways. These were two ways that technology can worsen our lives. Okay, so I'm gonna focus on physical ways. That's my first paragraph, my first body paragraph. Each body paragraph starts with a transition, so you're going to wanna put a transition there at the very top. Um, over here on the um, left side, I'm just gonna make it a little smaller here, on the left side, there are some notes here. There are some examples of transitions if you click here on this link, but I also put a couple that you can choose from right here without clicking on that link. So I'm just gonna choose one. I'm going to say, um, for instance, I think that one is going to work with my paragraph today. And then I'm gonna start my ace. Each body paragraph is an ace. I'm not gonna go over in this text how to write the ace. If you still need help writing an ace, you can come during tutoring to get help, or we can talk more about it during class time. But you wanna try and write your A here on your own. Okay, your A is where you're going to give your simple answer. You're going to state reason number one. So it might look something like this. And I'm just going to paste what I have created for us ahead of time. Boom. So what I do is I take some of the words from our prompt. I recycle some of the words and I put it here in my ace. So I say electronic devices and online access actually worsens our lives in physical ways. Okay, so that I'm pretty much taking my claim here and I'm stopping right there, physical ways. Okay, now in your A, you wanna tell me a little bit about why. Give me your simple answer about how it can affect you in physical ways. So I said, because it can cause pain to our bodies. Done, simple answer. Don't give me too much. You wanna save that for your C and your E. Okay, now my C. You need to cite some evidence from one of the texts that we've read. So you can go back to your unit evidence chart and look for all that text that you got. So I labeled all of my physical evidence examples with triangles. So I'm gonna go look for any of my triangles here and choose something that's going to work for this paragraph. Okay, I'm gonna choose this quote here. I labeled it as negative, harmful effect, how it can worsen our lives, and it's a triangle. So I know that it's a physical effect. And I'm going to use this quote right here for my C. Okay, whenever you start a C, you need a sentence stem, and this is going to be a little different this time because we are using different texts. And since we are using different texts, we need to make sure that in our stem, our sentence stem, we mention the page number, the paragraph number, the name of the text, and the author. We kind of have to give our whole tag in our C so that the reader knows exactly what we're talking about and what text we're getting this quote from. And this is only because we're going to be referencing different texts and videos in paragraphs one, paragraph two, and paragraph three. Okay, so I listed the page number, the paragraph, the title of the text, and the author. Um, I'm giving a little summary about what's happening in that part of the text so my, so my reader kind of has some information and some background about what I am talking about. And then I go into giving my quote. And that was the quote and piece of evidence 
that I found and I put on my unit evidence chart. I put my end quotes and a period and then I am done. I'm gonna move up my E a little bit so I have space here. Now I need to start my E. Your E needs to start with a sentence stem, of course. And since we're practicing elaboration techniques, we should see not only an explanation here, but also some sort of elaboration technique that we practice. And if you forgot those elaboration techniques that we practice, go back to your Canvas. There is a, a page in Canvas on your modules that is called E-Techniques, and you can use that for reference here to help you add to your E and make your E stronger. Okay, so I wrote my E out, and this is what I got. There we go. Remember, your E is a little bit longer than the rest of your A and your C. That's how it should be. Here we go. In my E, I give a STEM. This shows that. Then I answer it. This shows that technology is not perfect. Okay, let me explain that a little bit more. Sometimes technology can fail or break, and can, it can cause serious life-threatening problems, which could deeply worsen our lives. So make sure you are recycling some of those words again from your prompt and your claim and mentioning them again. So I'm connecting how technology can fail sometimes, how it's not perfect, and how because technology can fail, it can cause life-threatening problems, and that could actually worsen our lives. And I'm going to elaborate a little bit. I'm going to give an if-then elaboration. So I say, in space, if astronauts did not have Clarabelle to warn them of the loss of oxygen in the air, then not only would Clarabelle have passed out, but the astronauts as well. So I give a little bit more elaboration to help support my um, position here and support my C and my A. Okay, and then you're done. You want to proofread, make sure that you're looking for cups and any punctuation errors or spelling errors before you move on to paragraph two. Paragraph two is the exact same thing. You're going to start with a transition and then you're going to state reason two. So you're gonna go back to your claim and you're gonna look, okay, physical ways. Next one, mental ways. Okay, so you're basically gonna start the same way. Electronic devices and online access can actually worsen our lives, this time in mental ways. And then I'm gonna put that here and write my ACE, explaining how technology can be harmful in mental ways. So how is technology harmful to our mental health? That's what I'm stating for my second reason. Remember your second reason might be entirely different from the reason that I chose. Okay, and that is all you need to do. Try and work through this as best as you can. You can always email me with, with questions or ask on the Wonder Wall. We will also have more time this week to kind of work on this during class, but I definitely want you to try out your ACEs on your own. We have had a lot of practice with ACE, so it should um, be something that you can try out on your own. All right. Let me know if you have any other questions. I will see you later.